Hey guys, you're watching JS2 Sense, and today we're going to take a look at a product that's a little bit unique and a bit different from my channel, but the company was willing to send it to me and I'm willing to try it out because I'll try out anything because I'm a review whore and that's just what I do here. Anyway, we are taking a look at one of the Kasai watches here from Tokyo Flash. Uh, it's a Singapore company, interestingly enough, Tokyo Flash, Singapore, whatever. We're going to take a look at whether or not this watch is as cool as it is claimed to be and whether or not it's worth the price for what you get. I've been actually wearing this watch for the last week and let's go ahead and talk about the construction of the watch before we get into the actual review. Um, a little bit about this company. They are based out of Singapore. It's called Tokyo Flash and these watches are pretty much based on, well, some of the watches are based on customer input and design. They put out a little contest, hey, help us design a watch. If they pick your design, they make it. They do a limited run of the watch, and then you get an exclusive, uh, you know, uh, special edition watch. This is what I have right here. This is the Kasai Maru, M-A-R-U, Maru. And it's a very unique design in that it's just a circular LED, uh, a bunch of rings in there, and different dots and lines that point to different parts of the watch to make it tell time. All of their watches are very unique and they're all very different and some take some getting used to to read. Now I can look at this right now and easily see what time it is. I can see it's 12.20 p.m. and some people may look at this and go it's just a bunch of dots and lines. This particular watch is really easy to read. You have one dot that points to the outer circle which is the minute and one points at the inner circle which is the hour. So it's just like reading any analog watch. Some of them are really crazy and I'll be honest when I was looking through the, the catalog to pick what watch I wanted I chose this one because it's more contemporary. Um, it's got a stainless steel band. It's very businessy. It's the kind of watch I could wear to work and not be embarrassed about with you know flashing LEDs and matrix looking schemes going on. It's no different than any other stainless steel band you might see on like a Timex or a, a Casio or um, uh, you know what are some of the other brands out there? I don't even can't even think right now. But it, it's just basic stainless steel. There's no jewelry in this. There's no bling. Um, it's very nice design. It's a satin. It looks really good. Um, there's two buttons on here, one to turn on the backlight LCD and then one to cycle through the menus and you hold them down to do various settings and you can look at the manual to figure that out. We're going to talk about that today. But what I do want to talk about is uh, my thoughts on this watch. This watch retails for $150 and there's a couple of things I don't like about this watch and I'm going to just go ahead and put it out there because uh, let's be honest, there's more I don't like about this watch than things that I do. And you guys like the realism on this channel and it's about to get really real right now. The links, they have a lot of play in them. I mean, it, it's expected, I guess, from a watch of a stainless steel band like this. But remember, we're talking about a $150 watch. So the links have a lot of a lot of play in them, I feel. And when you have this much play in links, if you have armor hair like I do, they pinch the crap out of your arm when it comes to yanking hairs, and I hate that. If you have nice, tight links in there, that's what she said, then uh, you, you typically aren't gonna get your arm hair pulled out on a regular basis, which is happening to me. Uh, I have a pretty average size wrist, and you can see it's lo it's fairly loose, I and mean, it goes pretty far down my arm, so I could take a link out of this and it would still be pretty uh, comfortable. So if you have a bigger wrist, chances are it's gonna fit. When you push the buttons in, and I had Miss J's two cents uh, confirm this that it wasn't just me. They grind. They're not smooth. They're like, <coughs> I mean, it's just really rough and, and jagged. Not smooth at all. Uh, but let me tell you what I found to be completely unacceptable with this watch. The glass is dirty on the underside. In fact, it's dirty enough to when light is coming through it, it shines a shadow on the LCD, which just looks like dirt. And I've tried to clean it, and I'm going to do the best I can to pick it up on the camera. It just looks filthy. So, what do I feel about this watch? I think it's cool in the aspect that it's customer designed. And it's a limited edition. So I have a watch here that I know eventually isn't going to be around anymore. But would I pay 150 bucks for this watch? 
Given the fact that there's nothing special about this in terms of jewelry, it's just stainless steel. It looks like it's a generic stainless steel band that they just stuck their own guts in. The glass is dirty. The backlight LCD is really dim, even at night, last night. Again, I, I got other people's opinions on this watch before I did this review to see if it was just me being picky. The backlight LCD, when you push it, it's really dim. Even at night, it's kind of hard to see. And then when you turn on the backlight, it illuminates the dirt that's trapped underneath the glass. Um, it's not worth 150 bucks, guys. It might be worth 50, if that. So, you know, I personally wouldn't recommend this brand. Uh, at least not this watch. They have a whole range of watches. But this watch, this Kasar, Kasai Maru, for what it is and what it costs, is not a Jay's buy. So, kind of disappoints me that I have to do a negative review. Um, I reached out to the company to try and get a statement from them. There's no response. Therefore, I'm going entirely on my experience on this. And I would pass this up, honestly. I would go out and buy a, a, a Seiko or a Timex for 50 bucks from Hot Topic and have a better watch. That's it, guys. Jay's Two Cents. Keeping it real here. The Kasai Maru. Pass it up. See you guys next time on JC Sense.